Hey there, it's Yobo. Welcome to day 287 of life according to Yobo. No mess, no stress, no BS. Today, Yobo is helping you learn some things. Honey, I'm trying to educate you women on how not to get played in a relationship. We are about to move into chapter 3 of I know how to act like a lady, but how do I think like a man? But before doing that, I just had to share these stories about these two silly broads I saw on the Judge Mathis show. Sometimes we learn better from watching other women do stupid stuff. As I pause my clock, sisters, and remind you that you can get my books at Yobo Productions, Facebook. Well, follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. But my books at YoboProductions.com. Ladies, sometimes we just don't want to listen to good stuff. And I know a whole lot of y'all ain't listening to me. You find this stuff entertaining. I email them to people. And I can tell how many people watch these videos. Look, there's some good stuff that's going to help somebody. But you know what? It's my job to record it. You know what? Whosoever will, as the Bible says. But let me tell you about this other silly broad on the Judge Mathis show again. She met the man online. They hooked up that night. She slept with him that night. And she said, and we started a relationship. Stop. Right there. Right there. You can't start a relationship with somebody you met last night. And you met him. And slept with him. The same night. That's not called a relationship. That's a booty call and you got to know the difference he was saying all along they weren't in a relationship she says yes we were in a relationship let your boat just break it down for you just because dude is coming over getting the booty oh i gotta watch what i say because i told you my grandkids watch these videos just because he coming over hitting it on the regular don't mean y'all are in a relationship whether you want to believe it or not, it ain't no relationship. You are a booty call. You are something to do until he finds something else to do. But since she said they were in a relationship, I'm going to go along with what she said. Let's see. Come, children. Gather around for this story. Let's see how this plays out. Y'all already know the way it ends because I said I saw it on the Judge Mathis show. After a while, she said, I noticed I was always giving him money. And he only came around when he wanted money. Okay. So how long did it take for you to start giving him money? I would say he got the money same night he got everything else. Then she began to notice whenever he had his money. He was nowhere around. He didn't come over to see her then. Long story short, she gave him a $2,000 loan to get his car fixed. There was other money that she had been giving him. She had a list of things she was giving him. She gave him $2,000 to get his car fixed. And you know, she had to give him the money because he couldn't come see her. That was her boo. They were in a relationship. If she want to see him, he need to have a way to get over there to see her. But once he got that two grand, he was gone. Although he did repay $400 of the loan. She sued him for a lot more than 200 because there was other money all, all along the way. But she said, after a while, I began to see his true colors. Let me tell you what the old folks say. If you stick around a person long enough, you will see them for the person they really are. But see, you got to stick around this person long enough before you start getting your emotions and your lust wrapped up in. Because see, the stuff we call love is not love. It's lust. It's emotions. You can't build a relationship on lust 
and emotion. It's going to be the bomb for 42 days. But after a while, hold up. After a while, I began to see his true colors. It may take you months. It may take you years before you begin to see begin to see a person for who they really are. Now, some of you are thinking, I know, but that's a long time. Do that mean we can't sleep together? Let me explain something to you. A man can sleep with 15 women and not be emotionally attached to now one of them. Women, we're not wired that way. Once we begin to become intimate with a man, the next thing we know, we have fallen for them. That's another story I'm not even going get to in, get into. That's where the oxytocin kicks in. Let me break it down to you real quick. Oxytocin is a chemical that is released when a woman is nursing or when the man hit it and hit it the right way and you know and you see stars oxytocin is released that's for the woman to connect she connects to that baby when that baby is nursing and when that oxytocin is released or when that man is with her who and she has her special moment that oxytocin is released it ain't him it's the oxytocin okay but what if it ain't the baby nibbling on her breast. What if it's dude nibbling on her breast? The breast don't know the difference. Now, once he get to nibbling on her breast, oxytocin is released. And unless she knows what I'm telling you, she thinks she in love with this dude. But what I just tell you the old folks say, stick around a person long enough to get to know them. Otherwise, you have him nibbling on your breast on night one. You'll be dumb enough to think you in love with him. Yo, Bo, you getting way too deep. Much too, much too much to cover in six minutes or less. That's why I'm going to call it quits right here. But y'all better believe, Yo, Bo. Believe me when I tell you. Take your time. Get to know people first before you think you have fallen in love with them. Come back tomorrow for day 288 of life, according to Yobo. We're going to start chapter 3 of I Know How to Act Like a Lady, but How Do I Think Like a Man? See ya. Bye-bye. If I can just find my mouse to shut off this video, it ain't working. I'll do it with my hand. Bye-bye.